Welcome back, Money Team. This is Mad Money Shot, sniffing at the man. She's always got another money play video for you guys today. Today, I'm going to be going over a money play that was first run against me. I brought this to you guys in a gameplay a couple days ago. I'll have a link in the description if you guys didn't catch that. A guy was running against me online, and I could not stop it. He basically went the entire game without throwing an incompletion against me. So I had to take it into the lab. I had to find out what he was doing, uh, and I figured out not only what he was doing, but I figured out how to make the play even better. The play that he was running against me was essentially a lot of dink and dunks that I couldn't stop but I essentially took that play in the lab and found out how to one play just about every single defense in the game so as always if you guys want to see more videos like this do me a favor hit the like button let me know in the comment section or just help me out with a like just because it helps out my channel I really appreciate that now the play itself is out of the gun bunch offset and the play is called the double post now this particular play is in four different playbooks it's in the Dolphins it's in the Eagles is in the Colts and it's in the Panthers. I'm using the Dolphins because I had a request for the Dolphins playbook. That's how it works. If you guys let me know in the comment section what you want to see, a lot of times it results in me making videos about it. And since I saw that I wanted to make a, a video about this play anyway, and it was in the Dolphins, I was like, okay, I might as well make a full scheme about it. And that's what I'm doing. So, like I said, I'm going to first start off with a double post. Now, if you saw the original video, break it down this offense. This video is going to have additional plays, new plays, and post patch cover three one play touchdowns that the original video didn't have. So make sure to stick around for that. On the defensive side, I'm going to pick random because I'm going to start off showing you guys a way to play this that you can just basically dink and dunk and run it all game. And then I'm going to show you guys individual ways you can run this to home run every defense. So the way that my opponent was running this, and like I said, it was pretty good. It's not, it's not the first time I've seen this trick. It was pretty easy to figure out. All he was doing was putting the RB route in a drag. That was really what gave the most issue was the drag and I think it's called a table route, which is what the, the running back is running. They essentially act like double drag. So one of those guys will always be open. Other than that, you have Gasecki here, who is probably the best route on the play, although right there, I mean, for number one, you can just see the separation that that, that, that route creates. I think Gasecki would pretty much always get open, but it's just perfectly spaced. Let's go ahead and let's watch the replay because I was, I was staring down this tight end here. I really wanted to hit him. Nine times out of ten, for whatever reason, this guy gets open. He didn't get open here, though, which is kind of weird. But if you see how this is spaced out perfectly underneath, you have him springing the spacing. And this, they're just spaced about 10 to 15 yards apart, going in opposite directions. There's not a defense in the game that has enough zones uh, underneath to cover these three routes. When you see this spacing here, I mean, I probably get it through the drag, the running back. And like I said, typically this tight end's open. But you're basically going to make your reads like that. You're going to start with the tight end and you're going to work your way from right to left and you're just basically going to pick whoever's open between these three routes. So the best way to use this play to me is against cover three. It's an amazing uh, cover three one play touchdown. So I'm going to go ahead and pick that. This will also motion this ball over and run to the open side of the field just to show you guys it doesn't really matter. It's just you have to run it from a hash mark. All you have to do is put this RB route on a fade and it's going to be an easy one play touchdown against cover three as long as you run it from the hash mark to the open side of the field. Like I said, I'm just going to I'll pass block my guy here. Actually, you know, the safety is really far over too, which is nice. But I'll go ahead and I'll bring him over. Like I said, I'm, I'm surprised. They're giving me way too much space on this open side here. And that guy is going to glitch out again. And we got an easy one play touchdown. Now you see the separation wasn't quite there. And if I didn't have Jalen Waddle running that, there's a pretty good chance that he would not have gotten passed. So that's why, like I said, it's really best. Typically, you want to run plays to the open side of the field, especially when it comes to cover three. But with this particular play, it's really best to run to the short side. You can see he still hesitates. He still kind of flips his hips. And then he does, you know, this is something that EA, uh, for whatever reason, these zones do. They just kind of spread out. But you can see it's still going to have success. As long as you have a speed advantage, you're still going to get past that. This play can be cover for drop and cover for pawns, but it does it in different ways. We're going to pick that. Um, all you really have to do against cover four drop is put the X route here on a on a smoke route. That's all you really have to do. I, I can put this guy here on a streak just to try to pull coverage back and block my running back. All these things are not really important. But the RB route will get past that cornerback pretty easily, which he really shouldn't be able to do. Now, you do need an elite speed receiver for this to work. But if you have a guy like Tyree Killer, you're playing regs or something like that, which is essentially what I'm in, um, you know, Jalen Waddle, you can see that you can have success. But ultimately, um, this is not something that's going to work in a mutt, I would say. Uh, but you can definitely, um, you know, this is definitely something that uh, you can have people pulling their hair out online. You can see, like I said, once again, if you have an elite speed guy, you're going to get past that cornerback, which you really shouldn't do. But it's really based off the fact that you have such a speedy receiver coming across 
Um, let's go let's go to the replay. I mean, this 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 cover for court, or corner here is really just reacting to that. He's just kind of, you know, not really fully committing to his zone. And then this guy here just comes running across so fast, he just gets behind him. So, like I said, don't necessarily try that in Mutt, but online regs, you'll have success as long as you have a fast enough receiver. Also has a lot of success against cover four mats, which is cover four palms, cover four quarters, stuff like that. This play here, uh, against cover four, I would say the best thing to do would be to motion out the running back again and just put them, uh, both the X route and the running back on uh, 10 yard comeback routes. That's all you like to do. Block the A route and that's all she wrote. The RB route will just smoke any safety across the field. Now there's some pressure there. That's the only downside to motioning out that running back. Let's go and let's do that again. You can see that he was past it. Cover four quarters is pretty easy to beat if you know how, um, but this is pretty much it. Like I said, this RB route, the second he gets inside of that safety, and this is one of the best secondaries in the game, by the way. It's one of the best safeties in the game in uh, Poyer, uh, one of the best secondaries in the game, and it just does not matter. Just getting absolutely roasted. You can run it as is, and the RB route will still get open because he's fast, but ultimately, you can see with that other safety, he's just going to do a slightly better job. So you can run it as is, but if you want to run it the best possible way, motion out this running back, and uh, you know this is pretty much the play here. I mean, you got six blockers. I can put Kaseki on a block, and I can double team guys and all that stuff, and still have a lot of success. And then Waddle's just going to roast just about any safety in the game. Maybe Tyron Matthew might be able to stay with him. Not really. I mean, you know, it's not even about Waddle's speed. It's just about positioning. He has no position. These cover four quarters don't do a very good job. They almost act like man coverage, but they don't really rely. Like, I mean, he's open right away. He's 15 yards down the field. He's got five yards of separation. So, you know, that's going to be a nightmare. I don't think you're going to see a lot of cover four quarters this year. Also has a lot of success against man coverage. Ultimately, cover one is probably going to be the best one, but cover one or cover zero. But let's go and let's pick a cover one. Against man cover one, the RB route is still the play. I just want to dress it up. I'm going to put the B route on a streak and put the A route on a drag or a pass block. It really doesn't matter. You have the running back as a check down. And then you have the RB route, which he's just going to get across the formation in a hurry. Like I said, I mean, that's just this, this route here. It's a pretty good route. I mean, it beats a lot of different coverages. But, you know, this is this to me is kind of obvious. I mean, ultimately, the RB route here, um, just as long as he gets inside release, as you can see right here, I man, it's really just, you know, that's a lot of that has to do with Waddle just being a superior athlete. Um, but yeah, I mean, it's still a man being route at the end of the day. So this next play here I'm going to show is going to be probably the best cover two play in the formation, which I really didn't go over too much in the last play. And that's the Verts halfback under. We're going to pick that. Against cover two, just motion this guy out here. Once again, we have Tredavious White lit up. You have a couple different options, but ultimately you don't have to really do anything other than make that motion. And this B route will get open right behind him, although that throw is a little bit late. He probably would have been going for a touchdown if it wasn't for that. I probably want to move the ball over a little bit because if you run to the open side of the field, that's going to be best. Let's go let's do this again. And we're, like I said, we're just, you know, like I said, we're just waiting for him to get up that seam there. If I didn't have Parker, like, he's probably the slowest receiver out of their receivers. He's only like an 89 speed. I'd probably have a one-play touchdown. I might have to change him out. You can motion snap him, too, if it lets you, which it used to. I guess it doesn't anymore. But ultimately, I mean, this is just a really good cover two play. Like I said, if I had a little more speed, this would easily be a touchdown. If I had, um, you know, if I had... Uh, uh, Waddle doing this particular route, it would be probably be going or even fuller for that matter. But this is definitely one of the best uh, ways to run a cover two. You can also run a cover two beer to the other side. So we're gonna, we're gonna move the ball over. All you have to do is motion Gasecki over and put him on a streak. I will block the running back, and this is pretty much all she wrote. If I put the B route on a drag, that's probably the best way to go. But ultimately, this X route, once he gets past that cornerback, is going to have a lot of space. It's a really a timing throw at that point. If you throw it too late, you can have a problem. But you can see how this can really blow up cover two to both sides. Like I said, that's all about timing. If you throw that too early or too late, this tight end or this uh, safety, we're going to jump on the ball. So once again, this is the look right here. So let's go and let's get that ball out. Like I said, he's, he's getting over there. He reacts. If you throw it too late, it could easily be, uh, he'll easily make a play on the ball. I'll try to throw it late just to show you what I'm talking about. Let's go and let's do this again. So let's get that late throw. Let me set right here. He reacts. He flips his hips. I guess, I guess he really does. As long as you get a good throw, I guess it really doesn't work out. This is an old school play I've been using for a long time. It also works out pretty well against cover three. Against cover three, we're going to make that motion one more time. 
And we're basically just going to get that spread separation so we can hit uh, Gusecki here. He's going to be open right at the scene. That's all you're really trying to go for. This is not a one-play touchdown against cover three, but it's a good play. You used to be able to uh, just basically hit this guy in the flat. It doesn't really work anymore, as you can see. I mean, it's still possible, as you can see, if you throw it really fast. But it's also possible to get intercepted or throw a bad ball out of bounds. Um, it's still kind of there, though. This is a glitch that I put out like, a long time ago. It's still it's still something that you can do. But like I said, the timing's not there. I tried to throw it immediately. It didn't let me. So you can do this, but ultimately, if that ball doesn't get out, it could be a problem. So let's go ahead and try that one more time. Like I said, I like to step into that. You can see how it's, you know, it's getting picked off more than anything. So definitely don't try that. But that type of reaction the safety's making is what makes the A route get open anyway. So it's really not, uh, it's really not that serious because this is the play. He's always going to be open right to cover three seam. This play is also a one-play touchdown against cover three. It was pre-patch, uh, but post-patch, you just have to run from a hash mark. You need probably a more significant speed advantage than you might have pre-patch. So all I'm going to do is put the B right here on a streak or a fade. I find a fade works best. And then I'm going to slide my protection uh, so I can roll in the direction of the throw a little bit because I find that this play here really works best uh, just as long as you don't bullet. You used to be able to get it past the cornerback, bullet, and pass it outside. Now you kind of have to just kind of throw it right at the seam. But you can still see it's an easy one-play touchdown, whether it's pre-patch or post-patch. Another play that I noticed is a very glitchy one-play touchdown uh, against cover three, and that's the bunch trail. This play is going to work against just about any defense. But let's go and let's pick that and let's start off with cover three. Now this play here has a lot of really good man beating routes, but we're going to focus on cover three first. Now against, you know, before the patch came out, it would have been best to run it to the open side of the field from the hash mark. Now it's best to flip it. Now it's best to run it from the hash mark to the short side of the field. You're going to see why. I'm going to put my X route here on a streak or a fade. I still find the fade is best because it gets around uh, zone chucking. And that's pretty much all she wrote. I'm just going to block my run. I give myself a little X protection. And you can see how this cornerback here really dumbs out as he just basically just gives up a very easy one-play touchdown because he kind of turns his attention back to the underneath receiver on the corner route. That doesn't work to the open side of the field. Like I said, it only works to the short side. Let's go and let's watch the replay. Like I said, this year, I don't know what was going on there. It had him starting off differently. This year, like I said, the, the he goes around the zone chuck, which is important. And now you can see how this cornerback just completely dumbs out and leaves this um, receiver here, uh, you know, butt naked, just run down the field where the safety's not even reacting. I mean, this is ridiculous. Typically, they dumb out and the safety takes over. But on this play here, he doesn't react at all. As you can see, he just basically is just running with, by himself in space. So this is probably the easiest one play touchdown in this particular formation. Go ahead and we'll do that again. Like I said, flip it. And you're gonna see how it's just, you know, he wants once that cornerback turns his attention away. I mean, he's gone by what by like 20 yards. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like this is as easy as it gets when it comes to a one-play touchdown. But it's also a really good play. I mean, it works against a lot of different defenses, just like the original play. So we're gonna go and we're gonna pick that. We're just gonna go random on defense, random nickel normal. All I have to do is put the B route here on a streak, and the A route's a really good man beater. I'll block my, my running back. The A route's a really good man beater. Uh, I don't know if we'll get man, but we have two really good man beating routes. But the A route and the corner route are both really good man beating routes. So those routes will beat everything. If I leave it as is, every one of these routes in the bunch is a, is a man beater. But if I want to get some more zone beater concepts, streaking the B route will make that happen. I can also motion this guy in. Uh, if it's a cover two man, I can leave him on that route, and he'll get open against cover two man, especially if I shorten it. But I think it's best just to put him on a drag. Give myself that check down back. Uh, it looks like we're going to have that again. Like I said, I have multiple routes here that beat man again, all going in the same direction. So very easy to beat man with this play. But again, zone coverages, the RB route should have success. Just as long as I get some here. Here we get a cover two zone. So we finally get a zone coverage. It's going to have the same effect though against cover three and cover four. Because cover threes and cover fours, the outside cornerbacks typically react to the deeper routes. So you can see right here, I mean, I guess that was another man coverage, but we're just having success. Man or zone, this route's pretty much going to get open against all of it. And then you have a lot of man check downs with all the other routes. Next up, we got the Z spot. Against cover two, all you really want to do is put the B route on the streak. This is essentially a cover two uh, play. The, the RB route... I mean, the right side is really all about cover two. The left side is going to be more of a cover three side. But if you just do this adjustment pretty much every time, you're going to have the RB route will be your cover two beater. The A route and the Y route will be your cover three and four beater. And then the X route will be a good man beater. So this play really has something for just about every single play, uh, just as long as you just make that simple adjustment. Just put that guy on the streak. I'll show you guys what I'm talking about when it comes to the other defenses. Really a simple, basic concept. It's been a game a very long time. 
um, and you know has a lot of success so what I'll do is one more time like I said I'm really just watching when it comes to cover threes these underneath guys will be open for some easy catch and runs not a whole lot to know about it necessarily um, but that's just how cover three and cover four is weak you just have a lot of uh, underneath availability catch and run availability so that's pretty much all there is to that and as far as man coverage it's really more about the timing of the throw if you have a man cover one a lot of times this X route here will be open uh, as long as you throw it in the break. Um, as far as cover two goes, the uh, the stop and go is typically the look. Now I can also throw to the ground a little bit. That'd be a little bit better there. I did do a low pass, but I wasn't really on timing. As far as cover one goes, this, uh, this corner route is gonna be one of the better ones. You throw it in the break, low pass it a little bit, typically it'll be a good throw. That wasn't a great throw. Um, as I just didn't really set my feet, but ultimately, um, you know, this outside, this outside route here, the, the corners don't really turn their their head in this year's game. Uh, as far as the other, you know, stop and go route goes, that's really more of a cover two play. I'll go ahead and I'll pick that here in a second. Against cover two, this X route doesn't typically get the outside position needed, but you can see it still beats the cover two man as well as cover one man. So I would say just about any time you see a man coverage. The X route would probably be the way to go. As you can see, that corner route just gets released. As long as you throw in the break, it typically gets outside uh, and makes an easy play. So that's it. That's the video. If you guys want to see more stuff from the Dolphins, as always, hit the like button. Let me know in the comment section. Other than that, thanks for watching, man. We shit out. Need more help or just want to show your support? Then head over to my Patreon and join my team, where you can get exclusive content like eBooks and bonus plays, as well as early access to my vids and more. Link in the description below. Thank you.